guys welcome to Tanya lately my name is Tanya if you're new here we are a lifestyle vlog channel if you are a returning subscriber welcome back girl y'all know what's up let's get into this video today is another vlog okay so in today's video we're gonna go ahead and do a get ready with me I'm headed out to the mall it's a few days before Christmas um, I need to pick up a few things as well as um, get some skincare items that I've been absolutely loving y'all i have hit pan on this in and beauty retinol remix i know i haven't told y'all anything about this this product right here but i've been using this behind the scenes trying to see if i like it okay i have hit pan and it has been a tremendous help with my hyperpigmentation that along with my original the original oh, those are the ordinary I always get that mixed up. I think it's the ordinary. The ordinary um skincare line using their vitamin C, their vitamin C, their um hyaluronic acid, the niacinamide, as well as oh gosh, I can't think of it. It's like a BHA um acid peel. But I've been seeing so much of a big difference in my skin. Of course, I use uh, Cetaphil for my cleansing agent as well as my moisturizer. But I've been seeing just like a huge difference, especially using this. Um, I think this is responsible for that glow that you see on my face. It's so good. So, um, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and start getting this... In Anyways, I'm going to get ready to put on my makeup. I'm just going to start off with this brown liner. I used to wear black liner on my eyelid, on my on my eyelids. Child, on my brows, but I think I think I like the brown a lot better. I just I just wing it like this. Like I I honestly don't have no rhyme or reason on how I put my brows on as long as they're up there cuz your girl be looking like a naked mole rat without them. And so I'm planning on not putting much, much makeup on. And the reason why I want to do that is because I plan on going to the mall and I want to wear a mask because I know it's going to be packed in there. So I'm going to put on a mask today. So I'm not going to really a full face makeup. So I might just use just some concealer around my mouth because I still do have a little bit of hyperpigmentation, especially with some blemishes from acne. So, yeah, definitely going to put like a little bit of concealer on, um, but I'm going to be wearing a mask. So, yeah, then there's that. Another thing that I wanted to talk to y'all about is that goal setting for 2024. I have some personal goals that I really want to achieve and I also have some YouTube goals, um, YouTube is basically all I do. I don't have like a full-time job. I am a homemaker. Thanks and shout out to my husband. <laughs> my man. Thank you to my man. But anyways, I am a homemaker. So, so the type of things that I want to pray about is like friendships, my career in YouTube, in these YouTube streets. And if it's for me, it's going to be for me. If it's not, it's not. But I'm just going to make sure that I put it on my prayer board and however God works it out is how he does his thing, okay? But I have faith that, you know, I am his favorite and he's going to give me what I want. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and finish doing this makeup so I can just stop talking and then we could just go ahead and go to the mall. I always feel like my part is never centered. I can never part my hair in the center. It's always kind of off. It might just be my face is off. I don't know. As I said, I did not want to put some put uh, foundation on. I squirted some foundation on this thing, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of foundation on. Um, I do like this Lancome. I do love the Lancome. It has um, the tinted Idol Ultra Wear. It has it has a built-in SPF in it, so that's pretty good like i said i'm wearing a mask so i'm gonna focus more of the foundation on this part right here of my face 
and the only reason why is because of the uh, SPF. I want that SPF to protect my skin. Y'all, look at what? I love this foundation, and I cannot wait to get my hands back on some more of this In and Beauty Retinol Mix. That has been so good. Like, it even firms my skin. Like, it's changed the texture of my skin, especially around my mouth. I can see it because I had a lot, a lot of texture where I was hyperpigmentated. Um, well, where I am hyperpigmentated. It's going away, like I said, uh, slowly but surely. I see a huge difference. So, yay. I love that for me. Um... Oh, this is how it's looking. It's looking real flat, so I'm going to use some bronzer to put some more dimension into my face. I don't think I want to highlight too much. If I do do a highlight, I'm going to do a little bit of highlight. Y'all, this is becoming full face. So I'm just using this e.l.f. Um, this e.l.f. concealer. I'm going to go for a couple of dots right here. Um... Just a little bit down the bridge of my nose and maybe a little bit right here. Me saying that I'm not going to put a full face on of, of makeup is wild and proceeds to do just that. I don't even know what brush this is. I'm using. I don't know what was on it last. I hope it wasn't nothing dark. <laughs> I need to wash my brushes, y'all. So... I'm just going to put that on. So that was my e.l.f. concealer. So if y'all want to do like a makeup, no makeup look, this is, I'm giving y'all the product on um, what you would need. And I'm showing y'all how to do it, basically. Um, <clears throat> so that gives you a little, you know, definition to your face so you just won't be looking flat in the face um so that kind of like brings your nose out a little bit and then i'm going to go in with my fancy uh, mocha mommy this is my blush well bronzer my camera's heating up i don't know why this does this that easily so it might cut off y'all so I'm just going in with uh, this bronzer and I'm just going to bronze this, my cheeks a little bit. Nothing too, too, too heavy. And around my forehead. I'm trying to hurry before my camera cuts off on me. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm wearing a mask so I don't really need to do anything like the lower part of my chin. And then I'm going to go ahead and bronze down my nose a little bit like in the corner right here of my eye bring it down a little bit you want to like pull it down like that and pull it down like that like that and then i'm gonna set everything with my ooh, my mac studio fix um foundation and my color is nc47 so yeah i'm just gonna lightly brush that over my face using a fluffy brush just to set it a little bit nothing 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 heavy So then there's that. <clears throat> I have a couple of gray hairs right here. So I'm going to use my quick cover. Um, cover up stick and just go in right here with and try to color some of this gray going on in my edges. I'm not pushing down heavy because I don't want to get it on my skin. I just want to cover it in my hair. So that's that. And then 
I have some a lip liner. I don't know if I'm gonna go with a red lip today. I got on white. Mm. Nah, I think I have my all of my my lip liner. My lip liner is inside of my purse, so I'm not gonna do that right now. But this is basically the look I'm going for. Eyelashes. I don't think I'm gonna do lashes today. I might just put on just some mascara. Just don't feel like lashes today, y'all. So I'm gonna put on a little bit of mascara. This is the Telescope Lift by Revlon, I wanna say. And so, I'm gonna put a little bit on my bottom lash. And that's gonna be the look. And then I'll just go ahead and show y'all what I got on in the next clip. Let me let my camera cool down a little bit and then I'll come back and I'll show y'all what I have on. I'm gonna make me some coffee right quick and we're gonna be heading out the door, okay? So guys, I got my lips on and I pulled out my Lauren Conrad glasses that I got from Kohl's the other day. And then this is what I have on. These pants came from Charlotte Rue. I did not iron them. <laughs> um, I think this shirt is either Ross or Charlotte Rue, but it's just this turtleneck. Um, what do you call this? Razor but razorback kind of sleeve shirt. Um, I want to say this is these pants are like a dupe for another brand. I can't remember. I know I've seen somebody had something on like this, but the little um band was a little bit thicker. I want to say, but they didn't make it look exactly like the other brand, but it's definitely some, something along the lines. They go kind of all the way down for me. They do have a hem in it. I think I could take the hem out if I wanted to, but I think they're fine. Um, if y'all don't know, I'm 5'9". For all of my new people, I'm 5'9", and I'm a tall girl. And uh, my shoe is these ballerina flats that I had got from Target a few years ago. They don't even sell these anymore. Um, I want to say they sell them. Sometimes they come back. And then sometime they stop selling them. I don't know. Um, but this is like my second pair of having these shoes. Like every time that they sell, start selling them again, I'll get them again. So um, I should I wish I would have bought some black ones. But they're so comfortable and they go with everything. Like they just look like they're my skin, my skin tone. So they're kind of like camouflage. Like I have shoes on, but I don't. Kind of like a nude thing. Um, without having to wear like a nude I'm sorry, I seen somebody coming, um, passing by my house. But anyways, um, if y'all forgot how the glasses look, I love these glasses. They fit my face shape so well. Ah, they look so good on me. I love these glasses, y'all. Oh, they look so good. They look so good. And they're not super, super dark, so I can, like, see. I can totally see right now. Like, I don't even have to take these off. But I'm about to make me some coffee because I told y'all I was going to make me some coffee first and then come back. But the battery's about to die, so I'm going to make me some coffee. And then we're going to really head out to the mall this time. <laughs> so, guys, I decided to put this little sweater on over this because it's kind of chilly outside. I mean, it's not super chilly. It's, like, in the 60s, but it's low 60s. So it's a low 60 so i decided to just put this little cardigan all over my outfit um i decided to go with gucci bloom today i for my fragrance yeah it smells like a mall run First, I'm gonna carry today is gonna be my Speedy. Might as well, might as well. So, yeah. So that's gonna be my look for the day.
All right, I promise y'all this time we're leaving. <laughs> I hope y'all can see me. I have this new, new um, car mount for my camera. Ah, it's working. It's actually a phone mount. I already had this at home. Like, I didn't even need to buy a new one. Anyways, I wanted to jump on and basically talk about um, some things that I have been feeling. Let me put this, uh, put these glasses on. Because, baby, where am I going without my glasses on? I've raved about these. So, um, what was I saying? Okay, y'all going down so I need to tighten this up once I get to where I'm going so I'm almost to the mall but anyways I wanted to jump on and just talk to y'all a little bit about how I was feeling this morning waking up um not really waking up but once I once I did get up and looked at my analytics and stuff on YouTube um I lost a couple of followers and it kind of bums me when I post a video and then I also lose a follower because it's just like why follow me if you're just gonna unfollow you know what I'm saying so it kind of bummed me out because I am on a journey to try to make um, make it to a hundred thousand followers and no, I'm just playing <laughs> to a thousand followers by the new year and I know it's it's I'm a little delusional but hey listen uh, one video can go viral and you have all your watch time hours and all of your dog all of your followers in one video it can happen so if I want to act delusional I'm gonna act delusional and I am <laughs> But anyways, just to lose those two followers, subscribers, I mean, um, it kind of like really bummed me out because I was at 895 and I was just so to that threshold of about to make that, um, that 800 mark, you know? And when I tell you when I started Vlogmas, did I miss my turn? When I started Vlogmas, I think I was at 640 subscribers. And I'm real close to hitting 800, and it's only been a week and a half. Well, two weeks, or is it three weeks? Child, where we at? Two weeks. It's only been two weeks. Not a thousand is very much doable, and just to lose those couple of subscribers really had me bummed. And then I had this subscriber. I, I really need to go look at um, her or his name. I can't remember. But they came on from my cleaning on my one of my cleaning videos, and they were saying how they appreciated the authenticity of me showing my my kitchen and my house, and you know, because it's real life. Like this is real life. Everybody don't go to bed with their dishes clean. <laughs> um, dishes might stay in the sink for two or three days. Okay. Um, people get sick and people get depressed and people do all you know it's a lot of things that can happen on reasons why people may not clean their houses so it was very relatable and I had a juicing video that went kind of like semi kind of viral a little bit it was viral for me a little bit you know what I'm saying because I don't really get that many views on my on my um on my my videos so like I might get 200 you know or um, 100 or 300 even but for it to go past the thousand views on one of my videos is to me oh, shoot. okay um, to me is viral so this particular video had almost 1300 views and it was juicing. I am not a juicer. This, this, my content is not juicing. I don't do juice videos. I have prefaced the video saying this is a vlogmas entry for vlogmas. I have a vlogging channel. So my channel is vlogging and lifestyle vlogging. So it's a little bit of everything. I may get on here, do some self care. I might do, um, some some tall girl fashion but for the most part my channel is vlogging I vlog my life so 
um, I did gain a lot of subscribers off of that one video. So, um, I really had to talk myself off the ledge because I was ready to turn in, like, throw in the towel over something just that minor. And so, I just want to show, share with y'all, and I want to thank whoever that was that, um, I'm gonna go back and look at her name or his name, and I'll just, I, I want to thank you for that because I really was feeling down this morning about that, and, um, that comment really did put a smile on my face, so, um, yeah, so I'm almost to the mall, and I'm just gonna cut this a little bit short, and we're gonna pop into the mall. Did I just squeak? Child, my mouth stay juicy. Okay guys, I'm back home from the store and I just wanted to show what y'all show what y'all what show y'all what I picked up. I went to Burlington. Didn't plan on going to Burlington. This was not a Burlington type of run that I was planning on doing, but and so they had these pajamas right by the shoe section. I don't know why they gave me the hangers, because usually you know they take the hangers off, but I guess they let me stay on but these pants were super long so as a tall girl I cannot pass up tall pants although I just wanted something to lounge around the house in it's about to get cold outside um I hate putting on the heater I think I stated that to y'all before I hate putting on my heater at home um, y'all wouldn't believe what I did y'all know how I was sick um last weekend so I was throwing away a water bottle that had been sitting on my countertop, on my counter in the kitchen for a few days. And I felt like I had that water bottle, that, that water bottle, bleh, that water bottle last because I have a habit of leaving about this much left of water in my bottles. And so what I usually do is just pour them in my plants. <sighs> Y'all, last night, I was talking to my daughter and I was 
making another pizza because I made pizza again with the leftover pizza stuff that we had left over. Me made another pizza. We were talking and I wasn't paying attention because I had another bottle of water that I was drinking on too. I ended up drinking. long but again they're real real thick and they're like more of a capri legging to me um uh, unless they stretch when i when i put them on i have to see i haven't i haven't tested them out yet but um sometimes i can you know pull them down and they kind of like would stay it just depends but they're super super soft and real cheap so i picked up some leggings um those two cotton pair and then i found some that were like something like a slack type of legging um these have full pockets on the front i mean in the back is it in the front or the back this is in the back um and they're super thick again these are thick and they're kind of long they're longer than the other ones are these were six dollars and 99 cent um i got them in the junior section but um, so it has on here standard length. So maybe if I go back, cause I really didn't take that much time and they had a lot, a lot of leggings. Okay. A lot. So I didn't take my time going through all of them. So this says it has, this is standard length. So I may go back and see if they have maybe a long length, um, just for good measure. I don't know, but yeah, these are super, super soft it's a little bit the, the material is more is it licora um material than the other ones are those are they look more like um, i don't know i'm pretending like i can i can see this but i can't so these are i feel like they're going to be super cute just to put with like some um like some what do they call it my crew neck 
sweatshirts that I just bought. I think those would pair well with those. And maybe some Uggs or some boots or something. Um, so, yeah. So, then I got these Derek and Hart joggers. Um, I don't have a pair of black joggers. So, I grabbed these. They seemed like they were super long. So, I got a pair of joggers. So, that's all I got at Burlington, I believe. Yeah, that's all I got from Burlington. I told you I was going to Sephora. Went to Sephora. And at Sephora, I am back with my In and Beauty Project Retinol Remix. Y'all, when I tell you this stuff works so good. I love it. But this is what it looks like. And this is the pump. Um, it's a retinol, so yeah. We all need retinol retinols. Then I didn't know that they so faded at Sephora. I really didn't think I didn't I thought you had to order ugh, girl talk right. I thought you had to order this offline, but I found it at all at, at Sephora, so I was about to get the smaller one because when I was in line, I seen the smaller one. And so I'm like, okay, I got the smaller. The smaller one was $20. And then I think this one was like 30, 30 something dollars. Yeah, this one, the, the big one was $38. So I decided to just go ahead and get the, um, the bigger size one because they were selling the little, the little half the size, this one for like 20 bucks. So I just went ahead and got the big one. I've never used the faded. I only seen the reviews and I've seen on TikTok um, people rave about this stuff. I have nerve damage on my back from when I was um, when I did field events in track, track and field, and it's like a I don't know. It's like a melasma spot right here, but it's caused by nerve damage in my shoulder. So. I, I'm going to try to use this to see if that budges it. Nothing really budges it, budge, budges it, but child, what budgets, budget, budges it, <laughs> except for hydrocortisone cream when it's actively like itching. Like sometimes like when I have hair like this and it kind of like goes across it, it just makes it itchy and it just feels like pins and needles just sticking me in my bag but um i'm gonna try to use it's, it hasn't been bothering me lately um it kind of works it kind of like reminds me of something like you would probably have with eczema um it get it gets real dry and the drier it is the darker it is so i'm gonna try to see if this works on that and then i'm, I'm also going to use that around my mouth too to see if that does anything um even more so than the in and beauty and my bh um bha is it ac is a something and bha i don't know the red stuff anyways that's what i got there i was uh watching i am shelly y'all when i tell y'all i love that girl like she is my one of my besties in my head um and she always has like the cutest. Um, I like the way she dresses, in other words. But she has the cutest style. But she has showed this sweater that she had found on H and M's website. I think she found it on H and M website. I think she ordered it. I'm not sure, but she said she wanted to wear it around. You know, just drape it around her shoulders as such are i think they do it like this too um but i thought this was super cute but it's even it's even cute on like it's just such a pretty sweater 
Um, it's black and white. It may look like it. It may look like it's navy, but it, it is black and white. And you know the horizontal um, stripes are in this season, and it kind of goes against. Um, I used to think like I used to think that horizontal stripes. Whenever you wear horizontal stripes, it just makes you look big. I don't know, but it looks super cute right now. So I got that, and then I saw. This and it's also a horizontal sweater but this is more of like a cardi cardigan um well it is a cardigan so i just love how elevated this makes you look the sleeves on it are kind of like oversized and the tapered in at the bottom so cute so cute so cute so i definitely had to have that those two pieces almost all these pieces could be staple essentials in your wardrobe like this can this can totally go with what I have on like I can wear this with the turtleneck underneath underneath it I can wear it without just I could just wear it with just the sweater itself um I could put a cami on underneath it it's just so many different ways you can wear that the cardigan as well as the other shirt the other sweater you can wear it over you can wear it on you can put the you can keep a shirt on underneath it um you don't have to wear anything at all underneath it so i think that i thought that was real cute and then i picked up this t-shirt to be honest the only reason why i got this is because it's it's super sheer and i have a lot of sweaters that have like big holes in them so when I say big holes then the knitting is not like they have those sweaters that keep you warm and then there's these sweaters that they're not really that warm unless you have something on underneath them because they have big knitting um and the wind goes through it easily so this is so cute I love the color the color is really nice I think it goes really good against my skin color so, yeah, it's real. It's not thick at all. It's real thin. But this was like $15. Um, the cardigan was $19.99 and the sweater was $25.99. Yeah. Oversized or super long. Um, I don't have anything fitted, like a fitted sweater per se, like a thick sweated, fitted, blah, blah, thick fitted sweater. So I've seen this and the fit on this is so cute. I might do, I might do like double screens with, with some of this stuff as I show it to you. Um, I know the editing is going to be horrible with that if I try, not horrible, but it's going to be hard. Um, and I love how they have these splits on the ends of the, the uh, on the sleeves, at the end of the sleeves. And this right here, the bottom, like, you see how it has that curve right here? Like, it, it's fitted around your waistline. And I thought that was so cute because you can wear a baggy, a baggy pant with that. And it still gives you, it won't leave you looking boxy. It'll give you that still, that, that silhouette. And then you can have like some long flare pants. Not flare, but like straight leg pants. But this right here was a steal. These jeans were a steal. I wish I would have known the price was like it was whenever I picked it up. Ooh, excuse me. I wish I knew the price was what it was when I picked it up because I had no idea. I thought I was getting these for $30. Like I said, if I find pants that go all the way to my ankle, I'm going to be sure. I think I'm going to do a split screen with the, with these pants on. But when I find pants that have like, uh, it goes to my ankles and I'm good, like they're tall, girl friendly, I'm getting them. So these were tall, girl friendly. And I loved how they're the bottom fit i'm just i'm just into that right now it's just it just looks so nice on me only thing i really don't love is that they have this long crotch situation that they have with all the pants but it didn't look too 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 bad um on me as you can see in the split screen 
I'm just gonna scoot over as you can see in the split screen they don't look horrible on me um they go all the way down and um the crotch doesn't look too bad so that's what i picked up from all of the day from the stores in the mall <laughs> so i also stated that i wanted to do um a prayer board so i picked up a few things i don't know how this is going to come together i don't have like a direction in mind i'm just gonna put it together and see how that goes y'all seen how my ugly sweater cookie went so i may not have like i'm not a visionary in that sense of art but uh we're gonna we're gonna see how this goes um so i picked up these sharpies with these cute little pastel colors on them and stuff um i went to the dollar general and got these um and then i seen these cute little thing that they had in the home decor section and it just says love grows here and so it was just like a dollar and i thought i could just put some glue on the back of here and stick it to the board and put that as a little de decor for the board and um of course i got some glue to stick my envelopes on envelopes on because i'm not going to do mine like like open like out for the open for anybody could just read it i'm going to put my prayers inside envelopes and i'm just going to have them labeled um so i got some envelopes here and i got some index cards and so i'm going to just go ahead and Put my prayers on the index cards and then drop them inside of my envelopes and on the outside of the envelope i'm going to have a scripture and i'm going to put what the prayer is about if it's about family if it's about friends if it's about finances if it's about my marriage if it's about um my kids if it's about uh some of the things that i want to see happen um so far like um, in my personal life, and yeah, I had to come back to show y'all these. Look at these leggings. Like, what? These are the ones that was two for ten dollars. Why well, I'm going back to get some more? I'm going back to get some more, y'all, because. Who told them to do this? Who told them that they had permission? Child look like a ballerina. Who gave them permission to do this? I'm gonna go ahead and take my shower. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take my shower and get ready for bed. It's 9.40. I ate a couple of slices of pizza that I had made last night. I was so bummed because, y'all, I forgot I had bought a whole filet. Well, it was a half a filet of steelhead trout. When I say it was, like, two of my hands big. And I completely forgot that I had that in the refrigerator. I just had to throw the whole thing away because it was spoiled. <sighs> I hate when I do stuff like that. So now, from now on, I'm just going to go ahead. If I'm not cooking my trout that night, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the freezer. Because that was a waste of money. It was That was like $10. That was waste on a perfectly filleted. <sighs> Anyways um i'm over it <laughs> i'm over this day i'm kind of i feel sick right now again and my throat kind of hurt i just took a zycam so hopefully i'll just go ahead and fix me some tea i don't know i can't believe i did that to myself i did it to myself though i drunk a petri dish mm -hmm. i did good morning everyone welcome back to another day in the vlog y'all I am sick again. I am truly sick again. Like, this feels worse than last week. Um, I told y'all last night I drank 
out of a bottle water that I had when I was sick on accident. <clears throat> and when I woke up this morning, my body ached like from head to toe. Like I have body aches, horrible body aches right now. Um, this feels like COVID. I'm not even going to hold y'all. Like this reminds me of how I felt a little bit, not as bad, but, um, so far as how my body hurts and how my head hurts, it's just, it's giving, it's giving that. Um, <clears throat> I went to the mall yesterday. Thank God I wore a mask. Um, I always sanitize my hands and stuff like that, but I feel horrible by like, going outside thinking that I was okay. And I really don't, I don't know. I don't know how I feel right now. Um, I really want to go and see if I can get a test, but then it's like, you know, what's the point at this point? <laughs> um, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I just feel worse than I felt the first time around. And I don't know, maybe, um, it's because, um, I literally drunk a Petri dish, <laughs> um, but I really feel horrible. Um, all my hands feel like real tight and stiff. My back hurts. My shoulders hurt. I have that like woozy feeling in my head again, but it's kind of like different. I kind of have like a sore throat, but it's not really, it's not as bad as it was. Well, mm, no, it's not as bad as it was. It's just the body aches that's getting me. Um, but I feel like I just got out of I just got out of bed. Like I've been been woke, but I had just been laying in bed all day. It's almost four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I just really been in my room. I haven't eaten anything today. I just been drinking water, hydrating myself. Um, and I just been in my room. Um, I need to eat something though. <clears throat> so anyways, y'all, I'm going to check back with y'all later. Hopefully I'll be feeling a little bit more bet, a little bit more, a little better. Although I took the ibuprofen, it didn't do anything. It didn't do anything. So I might take two the next time. But for right now, I'm about to go get me a Zycam and see if that helps a little bit. But y'all pray for me. <laughs> Hey y'all, I feel like crap right now, y'all. <laughs> My ears are kind of like numb. Um, wow, I look a hot mess. I look a hot mess. My daughter made me some thorough flu, so and I just finished eating some apple slices with some peanut butter. And also, I took me some vitamin D gummies. <coughs> so it's either the flu or COVID. I don't know which one. I don't feel like one having her go to the store and buy no tests, no nothing. Just Lord Jesus, just let this pass. Just let it pass. Like my ears are like real numb. It's kind of remind me of the flu. It's kind of reminding me more of the flu. COVID. I don't know, but I don't have like a sore throat or anything. I just, my body hurts so bad. <clears throat> my body hurts so bad. I I have like post-nasal drip. Um, and my eyes hurt. And when I just, well, I just got up to try to make, to get me some, um, an ibuprofen. And I stood up and I just felt like I was about to faint. So... There, there's that so y'all I don't know what this vlog is going to look like um, it's probably coming up Friday so today is Thursday so I need to start editing this vlog for it to go up tomorrow but I'm going to go ahead and end today's vlog um, I wish I had more content for y'all but I really don't and I have a splitting headache hopefully this thorough flu would knock me out and um help me with the body aches and um my headache but anyways if you made it this far in the video thank you for watching i know i'm talking with my eyes closed because they hurt okay 
if you made it this far into the video i really do hope that you consider subscribing hitting that post notification bell so that you'll know every time that i upload a video and like the video don't forget to like the video that really helps my videos hit the algorithm and leave me a comment down below um that again engagement helps with the algorithm y'all i hit 800 subscribers what 800 subscribers um and yeah so <clears throat> hopefully i'll feel at least 80 percent better tomorrow and i'll be able to pick up the camera and start on our new video um that'll be up tuesday so my schedule is tuesdays and fridays that's going to be my new uploading schedule uh coming up this year um i'm also working on some other things i know i just told y'all i was about to go but um yeah so i'm just gonna let y'all go we'll talk about it later child because even my fingers hurt so thank y'all for watching y'all stay safe and be blessed wear a mask wear a mask viruses are out there right now so y'all wear y'all mask and stay safe be blessed and i'll see y'all in the next video peace out